B-Movie is the Citizen Kane of the film world. Roger Ebert called it the greatest piece of art ever made. In 2009, the Crown Prince of Monaco named three of his children after the B-Movie. It is an achievement unparalleled. As with anything that has attained such dizzying heights, it has inspired much tribute. The B-Movie is one of the most important memes in the world. You see, the B-Movie was oft overlooked by the ignorant and unsaved, but then the internet began to spread the B-message, and B-Movie awareness has rapidly grown. The internet has repeatedly crowned Jeremy Seinfeld as the king of comedy. The internet is right. Lurking in a little-known sitcom for a decade, Seinfeld finally emerged from the shadows to write and voice this important social treatise. Jeffrey B. Seinfeld is a young bee whose voice is entirely appropriate for his massive head and his massive, massive eyes. It's Seinfeld, so it's hilarious. No other bee has their eyes set so far out of their skull. This is important. It's alluded to that Jimmy Seinfeld's eyes allow him psychotelekinetic ability. However, he never uses these powers throughout the film, except at the end, when he has to fly a plane because he's assaulted the crew into unconsciousness. Never mind that, however. Disillusioned with his job, Georgie Seinfeld decides to overthrow the hive in a bloody coup, eventually installing Ferris Bueller as a puppet governor. This allows Seinfeld to go on a jaunt to New York City, where he discovers that the humans are taking away bee honey for their own dastardly ends. Johnny Seinfeld is prevented from immediately acting, however, because of his conflicted interest in white women. Seinfeld and Chris Rock take a tour of Honey Farms, where Chris Rock would have said, is a bee black with yellow stripes, or yellow with black stripes, if Seinfeld hadn't expertly cut out Chris Rock's lines. Our beeish hero then liberates a number of bees, and with the help of Bridget Jones, takes Ray Liotta to court after killing off political rival Sting. The one black mark on this movie. Sting's death means that John Goodman, fresh off the set of Roseanne, has to face John B. Seinfeld's class action lawsuit with too few British people on his side and loses by default. Ferris Bueller assaults John Goodman and like all bees, dies in his attack, which is very sad as he was great in election. Now I hope what I've described so far provides some of the reasons why the bee movie has become a phenomenon. meme. A bee sues Ray Liotta. Not Ray Liotta playing someone else. Ray Liotta from the PlayStation 2. In fact, listen to his lines. It sounds like they've been lifted straight from GTA Vice City. Sir. You're one dead prick! Asshole prick! But the best bit is clearly Jimbo Seinfeld seducing Bridget Jones. She literally leaves her boyfriend for a bee. It's genius. So a plan to transplant Bridget Jones's head onto a headless bee is foiled by physics. After winning his court case allowing bees to stop pollination and doom mankind, Seinfeld grows to the shoulder height of Bridget Jones and offers a moment of compassion for the last human on the planet. How about a suicide pact? And thus ends one of the greatest tragedies ever written since Shakespeare penned the first draft to Titanic. Will there be a B-movie too? Certainly not, as all life on the planet was extinguished at the end of B-movie 1. What a redundant question to ask. You should be ashamed of yourself. Idiot. However, Jafari Seinfeld has signed a contract to produce a movie of similarly earth-shattering proportions called Ants in the Pants, starring Larry David as the titular The Pants. Well, now to leave you with one of the many reasons why B-Movie is brilliant. The cast list on the credits. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. <laughs>